what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right. It's a big weekend at the box office, so Ryan is back with his thoughts on some big movies playing now. Good to see you, Ryan. Good to see you, too. You brought some fun stuff today. I did, and Stephanie, you were with me at the Despicable Me screenings this week. We had such a great time. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, can I say before you start talking? Sure. I liked it. I liked it, I liked it too. I, we agree, okay. so it's good. What I liked most about this one is that it's original. It doesn't mm -hmm. fall into a sequel slump where, uh, it, it, remember with like the Hangover movies, they were like yeah, the same, same story thing. just in three different cities. Yeah. This uh, Despicable Me 3 actually shows growth with the characters, with the story. They start somewhere, end somewhere else, and I really appreciated that. Well, yeah. that's one of the things you, you kind of used a word to describe as textures. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, well, especially with, like, Gru, I think animation has grown so incredibly well mm -hmm. that, like, Gru is wearing the scarf that it's textured so brilliantly. It looks so real. I wanted to reach the screen. I is would like 3D? to buy a... It, it is shown in 3D. Okay. You can see it in 3D. But um, we didn't see it that way. But I like that, it, you know, just the textures and all the animation are so real now. It's incredible. I want that scarf. Yeah, right? And you know what, Ryan? What I liked is that it took me back to the 80s. Oh, yes, it did. I... <laughs> With the Rubik's music, Cube. was it the music? music the soundtrack. It's so true. There was a Rubik's Cube reference. I know, the I know, a Betamax <laughs> reference, Betamax. right? I, we burst out there. So that's what is brilliant about this. It really caters to the adults as well as the kids in the audience, and especially with the music, because Evil Brat, and you can see on the pin that I'm wearing today, because we all have our Minions pins on. We do. Um, they, uh, he is obsessed with the 80s. He's kind of stuck back there. So whenever there you is. see him doing his crime activity. Even his hair right? is in the 80s. Yeah, right? there's great scene-stealing mo moments for Michael Jackson and Madonna. Donna and those yes. other great uh, hits of the 80s. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah, so okay. parents, if you think that this is just for the kids, you're going to enjoy it. I love these movies. Yeah. Is there a good theme, a takeaway? There is. There's such a good message. I think it's about uh, that you don't always get what you want, but you learn to like what you have, which is such a huge lesson. And so that's definitely here to see it. It's good for all families, all ages, and I liked it better than the second one. So. Are you giving away any of this stuff? Yeah, this is a great giveaway that we got from the studio. So there's Despicable Me 2 on Blu-ray, some sunglasses glasses, t-shirt, other fun Stamps. things, a minion. Yeah, so um, at the at the end Ooh. of the segment today, we'll, we'll tell you where you can go to, to enter to win this. So. Love it. Now yeah. we're taking a hard turn mm -hmm. to Beguiled. Mm -hmm. The Beguiled, yeah. the yes. Beguiled. This yeah, is a dramatic... Rated R. It is intense. Yeah. Dramatic thriller written and directed by Sofia Coppola. It's okay. a remake of a 1971 oh. dramatic thriller which starred Clint Eastwood. This has Colin Farrell as a fallen Union soldier during the Civil War who's taken in by an all-girls school headed by Nicole Kidman in Virginia, and it's pretty intense. Uh, you've got to like it already because I know how, I know your love of Nicole Kidman. So yes. how how does it kind of go? You like this the the music? I feel like it looks very dark and it would need that sort of. It's score. very atmospheric and it has this really beautiful gauzy cinematography and the score is very sparse. It's just a lot of like oh. nature sounds. Um, so it's the kind of movie that's slow but deliberate and intentional and you have to pay attention. You have to kind of be in the mood for something like that. It's only is ninety it minutes long. It is creepy in the sense that you can tell something's off okay. and this takes place at a time you know. Know, they couldn't go to Google something if they have a question. You know, They're, they have to go either to a book on the shelf or just use their own devices. And it's very interesting to see how these girls deal with the situations they're faced with in this film at that time. So you have women and a man, and mm -hmm. they're all living together. Are there disturbing right. and he's moments? Wounded. There, he's wounded. Yes. Are there any It's intense? disturbing to the point that's sad. Like, I, I think it's meant to be quite disturbing, but again, it takes place during, you know, that, that not gone with the wind mm, moment. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, it left me kind of feeling sad about, like, yeah. what happened. But again, I think considering what they were left, what, what, what they had at their disposal to kind yeah. of problem solve, uh -huh. it makes sense how What's this film really goes. I loved it. See it. Okay. Again, All you right. have to be in the mood for something kind of yeah. chill, but, like, it's great. Ryan said, see it. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the one our producer, uh, Paul, is the most excited to hear about, Baby oh. Driver. Rated I'm most R. excited to tell you about this one. Really? I'm obsessed with this movie. Even the opening scene of Baby Driver, even before you see the credit Baby Driver, it's so breen, like brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> no, brilliant genius. I, I couldn't choose which one to say, so I made okay. it anywhere. Uh, I love it's it. It's so chic that I, I could just watch that opening scene on repeat over and over. Really? So good, yeah. What does it remind you of? Because this is a driving movie. Does it kind of remind you of those? Well, remember the movie Whiplash yes. that Damien Chazelle directed? He went on, of course, to direct 
direct La yes. La Land. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whiplash was brilliant in the sense that it was about a, a, a music student and his teacher, yeah. but it was edited in a way that felt like an action intense thriller. Yes, yes. Baby Driver is edited that same way. There's rhythm to it, there's musicality, the soundtrack is, is in the, all of the action scenes. There's these low angles with all the car and the, the driving shots that are so innovative and cool. Mm -hmm. And I just, it's almost like a musical, but it's not a musical. It's and just the cast, brilliant. the cast seems Outstanding. like so wide. Right, that's Enzel Elgort, who we loved in the, you know, The Fault in Our Stars. Uh -huh. He played Shailene Woodley's brother, or you no know, love interest in that movie. He played her brother in the Divergent series. Here he's opposite yeah. Lily James. Their chemistry is so real, I almost want them to be a couple in real life. But we also have Kevin Spacey and Jamie Foxx and John Hamm, and they're all outstanding. And this is one of my favorite movies of really? the year. Really? Yeah, it's in my top ten Why for it sure. Baby, can you give that away? That's, well, uh, you'll that find it. No, it's, it's, you'll see it. You'll figure okay. it out in the movie. But it's great. That's his name. <laughs> this character's name, and he's a getaway driver. And this is a must see. This must is a must see. Okay. This yeah. seems like must. you have to see this on pleaser. the big screen. On the big yeah. screen, but also just it's it's so strong, and I just can't rave about it enough. All right, baby oh. drivers. Yeah. All three see it. This yeah, week. it's a yes. great week for movies. So you've got something for families, something for the action lovers, and something for you know. Uh -huh. The thinkers too, uh -huh. so there it's really go. good. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. So, so, and the giveaway is at my website, so okay. you can join me over there at ryanjreviews.com. That's where and you can like Ryan J too. Is on Facebook, follow him on Instagram, Twitter for his full movie reviews and to sign up for those giveaways, movie clubs, all that good stuff. His website again is ryanjreviews.com. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you too. Thanks love it. So I love much, our little Ryan. pins. Yeah, oh, our thanks. little pins.